You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by today. I am finishing up the uh, Christmas series with the gingerbread gingerbread cookie kit. Now, I have done quite a few. Well, I've done a bunch of different gingerbread products. Never these. It says it makes 10 to 12 cookies. I was going to make them in the mini kitchen, but I have to see what the size is on these. Uh, let's see. Crafty Cooking Kits makes 10 to 12 they're all in different little poses. Well, actually, this is kicking one foot, another foot. A couple kickers in there. We'll see. This guy's splattered like in the batter down below. And uh, let's see. Show us yours. Hashtag to reveal your culinary genius to the world. Upload your unique, unique creation to Instagram. Use the hashtag below for your chance to be featured on Crafty Cooking Kits. Hashtag Crafty Cooking Kits. And then this side is the nutritional facts and information and then in the back it says kick back with an activity that kicks back pun very much intended gather your family around the kitchen and create ninja bread gingerbread cookies that are fun to eat best of all the special memories will last long after the treats are gone you will need two tablespoons room temperature butter got it quarter cup of honey one tablespoon one plus one teaspoon of water and then the icing is two and a half teaspoons of water half a cup powdered sugar that's all uh stuff i gotta get i guess i'm surprised i didn't give you the icing stuff cookies okay so what is in the box kit includes a gingerbread cookie the royal ice uh, gingerbread cookie mix the royal icing mix candy beads a piping bag and gingerbread cutters how big are they that's what i'm really curious about we are going to find out we're going to find out by me opening the box for you right now. So I'm not going to even stop. We're just going straight in. Sometimes I stop, reset my camera. This time I didn't. I smell the gingerbread. It smells great. So that's a healthy amount. That's a nice pack. So it's going to be a little bit different in the mini kitchen to use that pack. And then a little... It says... Droyals, D-R-O-Y-A-L-5, contains egg. I don't know what that is. Okay, oh, there's my cookie cutters. They're giant cookie cutters. And then the piping bag, and then the little candies. Oh, that is for the royal icing. So you need this, plus a half a cup powdered sugar, I think. We'll see. Yeah, dissolve icing mix. That's the icing mix. And water in a mixing bowl. Add powdered sugar and mix with a fork until smooth. Spoon icing into the piping bag. Okay. Decorate. Empty candy beads into a small bowl. Hey, that's what I like to do. I like that little sound of the candy dropping into a bowl. All right, so I'm going to mix it in full size. I might be able to squeeze one cookie in the bigger oven, but I don't think this, this will definitely not fit in an easy bake pan. Okay, I have to decide. We shall see. I will be back. All right, I am back. I decided, well, let me just do it here because uh, it's a full-size recipe, which you'd normally do in a full-size kitchen. But I may bake one of the cookies in my uh, electric oven that I have in Lucky Mini Food. So basically, I have all of the ingredients here. Let's go over everything real quick. All right, so preheat oven. What you don't want to do, now I find this very interesting. It says preheat oven to 350 degrees. But... At some point, it says, where does it say? I was reading somewhere. Oh, it says, allow to rest in the refrigerator for 30 minutes on step two. So you want to preheat your, preheat your oven, make the batter, and then put it in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. I'm thinking, hmm, who wants to let their oven run for 30 minutes? It doesn't take that long, does it? Uh, so I am not going to preheat any ovens until I get this done and let it rest. All right, so the ingredients, the mix. Two tablespoons room temperature butter. And then a quarter cup of honey, quarter cup of honey. And then the water, which is one tablespoon plus one teaspoon. Now the tablespoon is just for the batter. Okay, combine cookie mix. All right, let's just cut that up and get that ready. Cookie mix, all right. It smells good. It smells through the plastic. What does that tell you? Mmm. Okay. Room temperature butter, which I have. Okay. Two tablespoons. And then honey and water. 
Now, the water. Hmm. In one spot, it says one tablespoon plus one teaspoon of water. Okay, I see. It says you will need for the cookies one tablespoon plus one teaspoon of water. And then for the icing, two and a half teaspoons of water. I got a little confused there. I was thinking the you will need was for everything, but they did split it up. So one tablespoon, okay, and one teaspoon, one teaspoon. Okay, and then a quarter cup. This is right at just a little bit more than a quarter cup, but we'll see what I can scrape off and what I can't scrape off in there. Now I could heat this honey up and make it not so solid, but this is how it came out. Okay, I will scrape more out. I just want to get my other spoon. That sometimes happens to honey. I think it's still going to mix up just fine. Okay, so I was a little over. I got a little bit left in there. Let's just call that good. Okay, here we go. Let me do it this way. I feel with all these cold ingredients, it's going to take a little bit longer to mix this, so bear with me. You know, as you mix, it will start to heat up, I guess. Oh, it smells so good. This is what I expected that, I don't know if you remember the Jelly Belly gingerbread pal I had to do. That's the smell I wanted and taste I wanted from that gingerbread. This has got it. That one had just very mild, not a very good overall flavor. Okay, it says the dough does take some time to come together, so two to three minutes, as expected. So what do you think about those instructions? It should say, wait to preheat oven after dough sits in refrigerator for 15 minutes or 20 minutes, because ovens don't take that long to heat up. Not sure if it's supposed to be like a nice dough ball. This kind of reminds me of making a crust or like a uh, pie crust. You get that really crumbly crust. It's definitely not easy to mix. So I'm really holding the bowl. Okay, it's slowly getting there. I see it. I feel it. The butter looks pretty good. There, okay. Just took a little bit. Probably because it's a little colder, I guess. All right, let me, uh, I wanted to give you some different camera angles. One, so you don't see my top of my hand so much, the more of the actual mixing, but I think we got it. All right, let me come back now. I think I just want to maybe put it on one of my trays. and I want to just get my hands in there is what I want to do. I think I can make this into a ball. 
So let me do that. Okay, time to get the hands in there. I feel like it wants to be a ball, but just in this bowl, it's not allowing me. It's fighting me. Stop fighting. I was looking at those uh, cutters. Those are giant cutters. Those giant cutters are going to make 10 to 12 cookies. You probably have to roll this pretty... Oh, look at that. Yeah, look at that. So there's a little bit of butter in there. So my hands will definitely heat this up now. Get over here. I think now... We have a mixed dough. So what does it say? What does it say? I forgot already. I forgot. Okay, mix into well butter two to three minutes. Dough takes some time to come together. Allow to rest in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. So that's what I will do. I will put this in a smaller bowl and let it rest for 30 minutes and then I'll be back. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you those cutters. Hold on a second. Okay. Dough. Get this all out of here. Look how big these are. They're quite giant. Do you really think it's going to make 10 of these? That's four right there. We'll see. I mean, uh, unless you roll it super thin, which I might have to. So, so this guy goes this way. He's kicking. I guess these can go any direct way. And he's kind of like, it looks like sliding. Which one is this one? Where is this one on the package? Right there. That's the sliding one. And then this one. This one here is this one here. And this one right here. And then this is kick to the one direction. And then this is kick to the other direction. Okay, so... They're all there, except for this guy that's squished in dough right here. They're all there. All right, I'll be back. All right, here I go, right out of the refrigerator. It's set up really nice. It's definitely uh, dried up a little. And then uh, I need flour. So it says on a lightly floured surface. I took this, I taped this down. We'll see if it works. Probably shouldn't have done what I just did, but let's just get this going here. Lightly floured, and then roll out. Roll out, no, okay, so that doesn't work. So, I will do it one-handed, kind of just press. Not one-handed, but no pressure. I do have some bigger cutting boards. Those would probably work. Now upstairs, I'd probably just do it on my countertop. Here too, I might just consider doing that, but you know, at this point, here's where I'm at. This is what I decided, and I must live with it. I'm still not sure how this is gonna make 10 or 12 of those giant cookies. I mean, I'm pretty thin already. I mean, this is a nice thin gingerbread cookie. So let's just cut one. Now here's what I decided. Now, I had this pan from the last baking video, and look what happened when I washed it. It washed off some of the orange, I think. That concerned me a little. So let me get a little butter, and I will grease this. I think I'm just going to bake in the oven with the, um, with the parchment paper, right? I don't think I need to grease a sheet for that. But I found one cookie does fit in here. So that's what I'm going to do, and then I will, see, it fits, maybe this one fit a little better, yeah, okay, so that is the one cookie, really, so one, two, three, four, do you really think, I don't know, I guess I'm a little concerned about this set, they did say, you know, first preheat the oven, but you have 30 minutes, you have the mixing, you have the 30 minutes, and then you have the time it takes to craft your cookies. So you got an hour there. I don't think you want your oven on for an hour. I know it's pretty standard. They always say, start your oven first. That I, I understand that. Okay, so that one will go. See, they're pretty thin. Do you think it should be thinner than that? 
Okay, so we'll do, well, let me get one of each shape to start. And then, of course, it says cut and then um, re-roll. All right, so let me get my tray in here. Here's the tray I'm going to use. How about this? How about I increase the camera height here and then you can see everything in one scene. All right, there's cookie number two. It's holding their shape really well. Okay. So I've used these two. Let's do cookie number three. Maybe in the center it is a little thicker. Yeah, a little thicker there. Okay, so let's stay on the outer edge and then I'll roll this out a little bit better. And it's such a weird shape to try to not lose, you know, try to squeeze in. If it was a shape that easily fit, I could probably cut more out. Okay, and then let me just roll this down a little. Okay, and then let me, what was the first one I did? Is it this one? No. Is it this one? Is this my first shape? No. This guy. Okay. So I want four on the baking tray for sure that are all the same. Okay. There we go. So there's all four. And then it said how far apart? An inch apart? Okay. Uh, our surface is three sixteenths of an inch. That's pretty skinny. Cut into shapes with ninja cutters, gathering and re-rolling is necessary. Place, place two inches apart. Okay, so these, these are going to be a little bit different. Let's get them in there two inches. Okay, that's about two inches. Two inches. Let me just do it this way. So I can get that leg in that corner. Let's get that head there. That's two inches. Well, that's probably not the best place to put that one. And then two inches. And then two inches there. So there you go. Now I should be able to cut one more on this. It's probably close to three sixteenths. All right, so that's this guy. We'll keep the like shaped cookies together. Now all of that has to be reworked into a ball. Ah, you know what? I think it is 10 cookies now that I see it. And now that I know my tape didn't work on my table, Let's get rid of it. That was a fail. And it wasn't the table stuck to the table. It was this waxy paper. Anybody else use this paper? It's really good. It's this, well, with a note on it. That's to let inventory know in the baking department in the house that there's more under the sink. Parchment paper sheets. These are really nice. Unbleached. 200 sheets, and we still haven't gone through them. Okay. There you go. You kind of have to make it sticky again and go through that whole process. Okay, back to learning how to roll. I rolled that one out a little bit skinnier than the last one. Okay, so we have we have for sure two of these and one of each of these. So let me just do one. Maybe this is the best way to do it. Really close. Two, three more. Maybe we could get that leg right there. Okay, that's three more. We can squeeze this one in. No. I'm gonna have to do this guy again. 
There we go. Look at that. Okay. Oh, I almost ripped his leg. One. Two. You go there. You go there. Let's pretend like we're all just hanging out. Yeah, it's definitely skinnier now. All right, so this is going to be a problem when I bake these now, right? Because the skinnier ones are going to bake quicker. So I'll have to pull those out. All right, so we got one. Maybe I'll just do these two in my little oven while I wait. Okay, so we have two, four, six, eight, ten. All right, I was, I was wrong. I misjudged. But again, it depends how thin you roll them. Now, I wonder if I could just take some shapes and I've got two ovens over there and make a few small cookies for that other oven so I can bake you even more. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this a little thicker. Maybe I'll just do a couple Christmas shapes on this and put them in easy bake pans. Let me get set up for that. Okay, Whew, this is kind of thrown together last minute, but there are... I'm done with the Ninja cookies for sure. Here are two Easy Bake pans that I have. We'll have to decide which I'm greasing right now. Okay, so I just want to find a little shape. Now we're improvising. Okay. Now I could bake everything in the Easy Bake ovens, but they would be really small cookies, which would probably take me 24 hours to bake that many. All right, that's done. Now, shapes. That'll fit the easy bake that's Christmas related. Ooh, a tree, okay. And a snowman, will he fit? Oh, uh, you're too big. Okay, go with my first one, a Christmas tree. Nope. Okay, let's just see. A bell. Do, 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 do. A little thicker, but that's okay. Come on, Bill. Okay, so this will bake in one of my easy bakes, and then I'll use my electric, my other electric oven for the other one. Okay, a bell. What's this? That's a that's like a clover. That's a, some type of clover, a triangle. A circle, a star, a four-leaf clover. I don't want to do a four-leaf clover. I did, this is a different kind of bell. A little different and smaller. I have a heart. I just have a circle. Yeah, okay, I don't know. I should have prepared. I have some really little ones. Okay, I don't see anything Christmas related in there. Some circles, a little triangle, a star. If the star fits, I will do it. That's a good one. There are stars at Christmas time. Come on, come on, there you go. All right, I'm gonna forego the rest of this dough for now. I'll just keep it in the bowl for a later time. Maybe the kids will use it, I don't know. So I have a star. Going in uh, the easy bake, and then I have this going in another easy bake. I'll squeeze all those on a tray and I'll get those in the oven. So let's go over to the easy bake side and get those two in the oven first. All right, those other cookies are done. I thought I'd get these in the oven. So there is the first one in the left oven, and then we'll put this one in the easy bake oven. So we'll see how it goes. I'm going to give these at least. Well, I'll say eight minutes because this one's going to cook faster than this one. So I'll do it for eight minutes. All right. This oven, I think, is going to be done first. So we'll take this one out. It sure does look like that cookie is done. It's definitely brown around the bottom. It seems to be uh, that oven bakes pretty good when I move the pan to a lower level. All right. Let's check out the other oven. All right. This one actually has steam rising out of it. That I don't know why. Uh, hopefully this cookie's okay. Okay, yeah, that one's done too. It's probably the butter in the pan. 
Yeah, so that one came out good. All right, let me get the other two. I got another pan. I'll take this cookie, move it to the other tray, and I'll just bake the other two. I think at this point, it's time to decorate. So let's head over back to the other booth, and I'll decorate them all up. All right, here we go. 9 to 11 minutes, 350 degrees. I tell you what, I'm going to just leave the camera running. You could watch them grow and bake, and then I will put some Christmas music on for you. Enjoy. another minute or two so that I'll uh, actually see you next in the video booth when they are done okay out of the oven they look really good uh, they are still some of them still stuck to the tray but the paper worked great so that's what they look like and then there's that guy jumping that guy jumping and then let's see very nice this guy came out a little little funny it was one of the thin ones and then out of the easy bake ovens and the electric oven I, uh, these are the first two and the second two. Eight minutes, six minutes. The six minutes came out better. Still nice. That's nice. Not too bad. This one, no good. This one out of the oven on the left. That's all right. And then this one I squished in the tray just to give something a little bit different. They came out good. So I think overall I'm happy with the way all of the cookie shapes turned out. So let me uh, do a couple prep things here. Let me get my little candies in the in the candy bowl so the second batch I did six minutes like I said definitely is the way to go okay candies are in and then now it said icing dissolve icing mix and water in a mixing bowl so there's my mixing bowl and then the water okay so that's the icing mix Smells kind of like uh, vanilla. Yes. And it was two and a half teaspoons. So there's one, two, and a half. Okay, dissolve that in water. Then add the powdered sugar. Okay, so it must be imperative that you do that step first. I'm not sure why, but we're doing it. Okay, and it was a half a cup of powdered sugar. So let's get that half a cup. I'd say so overall it's a pretty fun kid. After I did the smooshed cookie, I'm like, boy, I should have really done more of that. Like not put an arm on, you know, made it more intense. But that's something you can do. I guess not intense, more creative. I could have been more creative with my little ninja breads. Okay, that does not look like enough water. Let's see, what does it say? Smooth icing on the piping bag. Oh, we're not, it's not, that is not smooth. It's like hard as a rock. I wonder why. Okay, I think it needs a little bit more water. Let's do one more teaspoon. Look at that. There we go. Ah. It's 
really thick. I guess that's the way they want it. Okay. Maybe it's just easier to work with when it's uh, hard as a rock. I don't know. All right. Let's get this in the piping bag. And get stuff off that lip. There we go. Now, I had a recent video with the gingerbread man, and I was not happy with my results. And a lot has to do with it's difficult to video the camera angle, trying to hold the piping bag, and not just show the tops of my hands. So I think, okay, what can I do? How can I change the angle? I still haven't come up with anything. I haven't, this, might, this will be a test. Maybe I'll try something here. All right, that's ready to go. Let me decorate. I'll probably do three or four. And then uh, I'll be right back. So let me reset up here. Okay, so I'm at a much bigger angle than I normally would video at. Well, let me just cut off a tiny tip because they show the icing really thin. Let's see if that's enough. Oh, where's my wood spoon? I thought I brought my wood spoon. It's good for this. Good for smooshing the icing to the end of the bag. Okay. Now the box had different designs, as you can see. So I'll keep that off to the side. I might use it as a reference, but here we go. So now, one hand is pressure. Let's just get some eyes on this guy. Okay, so that's a little too thin. Cut a little bit more. Ooh, that's better. Okay, another eye. And I want to get a, like a bandana going across. Like a ninja warrior. And we're going to make him just like a regular gingerbread guy. And I want to put a couple candies going down. Okay. And then let's just give him some kind of like some kind of mitten on his one hand. And we'll give him some kind of shoes. I almost feel like I need to cut it a little bit more again. It's really hard to squeeze. It's taking a lot of pressure. A lot of pressure in my hands. That could be too. It was really stiff as I was making it. Okay, let's give him a little, little tip of his toe. All right. We're going to give him a couple, what I would call, well, let's give him something like a mouth. Kind of sad mouth, like he's fighting. Okay, then we'll give him a couple lines around here. There's his other little hand. All right, he's good. Let's move this guy in. So I'm not sure about that angle. Let me see now. I'm at a pretty, like I said, severe angle. This is the way the camera would normally be, and I'm doing this to try to angle so you're seeing the decorating and not my hand. Okay, this guy's kicking. Let's do it from this side. Maybe that's it. Let's give him, give him an eyeball. Okay, we'll give him a... Squiggly mouth. We'll give him some kind of big shoe. So here, see, I have to do it with one hand. It's hard to press and keep the bag going correctly. Oh, we'll give him a stripe. Here's his prison, prison pants. Yes, he's escaped. We'll put some color there. And color there. How about some red beady eyes? Yes, that's good. Red beady eyes, good. Oh, yes. He looks mean. Mean, mean guy. Okay. Let's put those. You know what? I'm just going to put them in the back. 
Let's do a few more. Let's do the squished guy. And then another, when well, we've done that, we have to do this guy. Okay, so squish guy. His face is all, see, that's the back of my hand. That's what I don't want. Give him green eyes. He's got squished green eyes. And we're just going to do this guy like a regular wrap around. That's it. He's just all squished up. <laughs> all squished up. Okay. We're giving him one eye. He's a one eye ninja. And he's got a mask. Okay. One orange eye ninja. Hmm. Crazy looking ninja. We're going to do just one down the center to show you his legs. Like a stick ninja. Okay, stick ninja. There you go. <laughs> Alright, that's pretty good. So I've got that shape, that shape. And let's see, I want to get at least one of each. So we got that guy. We don't have... Well, you know, it's hard to tell now because their legs are so split apart. Like they didn't end up straight on the baking tray. Okay, let's do my star. That's easy. I said I was going to do two cookies, and now I've done five already. Good. There's my star. Okay, so we'll make this guy the last guy. He kind of looks different. The arm's this way on this one. So I think I got them all. Okay. There. I'm just trying to accentuate his lines. There. There. Okay, I'm a little happier with that camera angle. Let me know what you think. I'm just letting these plop inside where there's no frosting. Let them just kind of stick to the edges. Okay. I'm happy with that. All right. Let me get a platter. I think that's good. We'll get a platter and I will put them on there and I will give one a taste. Okay, so none of the platters I have that will work and it's hard for me to make some kind of ninja scene. So he is kicking him, right? And then this guy got squished. This guy's standing on top of him, that's my scene. And then this guy is just jumping around ready to be eaten by me. He's gonna kick this guy in the head and I have the star to enjoy. So yeah, I was thinking for creativity wise, if you're doing this with the kids, you know, maybe take off an arm here and there and, uh, you know, have a little fun. All right, so I am going to eat the star, take a bite. Well, I'll tell you what, let's save the star. That looks good right in the middle. I'm going to take one of these other ones that isn't decorated, put some frosting on it and eat this, eat this ninja's head. Okay, and then I'm going to... Put a couple candies on it, and oh, I'll just do two, and I'll take a bite so I can try it. All right, here we go. It's got a crispy crust. Gotcha! Like the bottom's crispy, but it's still soft. See, it doesn't crack. Okay, it's got a decent flavor. Much better flavor than the other kid I did. Gotcha! Kick! Kick! Kick, kick, kick. And then this guy goes, squish. Ooh, he got smushed. So flavoring is good. It's still not as gingerbready as I just remember gingerbread. I don't know if it's my tastes. Haven't had these cooking in a long time. 
I wonder if they're from scratch, they'd be much better. Oh, wait. Oh, oh. I got to eat your leg. Sorry, buddy. Well, Merry Christmas, by the way. I think this one will be released on Christmas Day. So hope you're having a wonderful Christmas Day. Here's the kid again. I'll give you one last look. And thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I had fun making it. It's tasty. Oh, and by the way, that Reese's peanut butter cookie after the video, I ate the whole thing. I couldn't help it. It was so good. Have a great day, and thanks for watching. Watcha! Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a Lucky Penny, pick it up.